A letter to the girlfriend I thought I recognized in my best friend's lover. Last night, I found myself asleep on his floor because I couldn't make the drive to my own. He gave me his clothes because mine were dirty. Did my thin white shirt convey his kind of worth? Or the clean denim pants make you think these were his hands? Did you chase wisps of thought through your head? Did you taste kisses rot when you said you were glad when we met? Your head on my chest. Your fingers finding things to figure around the surface of my flesh. I bet it was insignificant. I hope it didn't even mean a little bit. I hope you tasted or smelt or otherwise felt that something really was different. It's easy to let slip your grip on yourself when you're rhythmically receiving and releasing a bottle. It's easy to lose track of your coordinates in the vastness of these 80-proof oceans to forget who and where you are in the, before each moment's explosion. But curtains open call for closing. And not all behaviors are chosen. So by the end of the night, maybe we'll choose to do right. Maybe we'll lose to the truth and prove just how trite human touch can be when you know only yours or how important it can be coming from the right source. Did you taste the mistake? Were you too drunk to have thunk that the comfort of touch is only a value if the person it comes from means as much as the man who always knows how to act? Are you closer than that to the man who raised hands to hand me the clothes off his back? Did you see him in my smile because he sowed its seed? Did you find him in my words because he is the muse when I rhyme? Did you confuse us because you looked to your right side and assumed your companion was with you? Did you see me? Dressed in his clothes, as simply free as he's taught me to be, and think us the same. Did you taste the mistake?